face that this world has forgotten. What is up guys and of course welcome to another episode of who was of course really better and this time we're looking upon of course Torkoals versus of course Terminator the two fire Tordoises that you believe we're calling them and yeah it seems like these two are very very similar in so many fashions even to that extent that Terminator might look at a possible upgrade to of course Torkoal some of course have even speculated so far and say that this could possibly be of course an evolution to of course Torkoal, which sadly it wasn't. Now, of course, with that said, uh, Torkoal has been around, of course, since Generation 3 and it's done some kind of viability back and forth. It's definitely one of the more sturdier fire types, one of the more interesting defensive points, and so, of course, is Tertonator, who, of course, recently introduced in this generation, that is Generation 7. So, with, of course, this video, I hope that we can go over the, of course, abilities, stats, and move pool, and end of the day, hope to see who, of course, is better. So starting it off, one really has to of course look at their typing first and foremost. Torkoal is a standalone fire type, which isn't necessarily a bad typing in general. Fire type does resist quite a lot, even though it has a few weaknesses that are fairly common. It does resist of course bug, fairy, fire, duh, grass, ice and steel, while of course weak to of course brown, rocks and water. Rocks primarily is the one that does make fire typing less ideal as a defensive typing, mainly because of the hazards alone. But resistance 6 typings are actually fairly decent for actually standalone typing. Now, with that said, let's look at Turtonator, which actually gets the Dragon typing in bulk with, of course, already a type. What does this mean? Well, it does mean that it does get a, at least a few more resistances, one of course being electric, but also loose resistances in light of ice and fairing is neutral to them. But with that said, it does resist strongly fire and grass, it resists bug, electric, steel. But now, of course, not anymore weak to water, but now weak to, of course, dragon instead and ground a rock. So it does have the same type of hazard issue. And of course, being weak to dragon, while, of course, more uncommon, it's still as very tough to be dealing with and definitely, of course, consider the Terminator's stature style alone. Now, with that said, dragon and fire type is one of the best combinations in the game, mainly because it do resist, of course, vault turners. But the standalone typing, it doesn't differentiate enough between them, definitely not enough. In theory, Torkoal of course resists more, and of course, Terminator is of course doing. So, with that said, let's of course go over their stats. When it comes to, of course, stats and distribution, they are very, very much alike. Even at that, that you know, the bulky offensive stats that are representing are so similar that I'm pretty sure they have Torkoal in mind when they create the Terminator. That said, Torkoal does have, of course, a little more HP, attack, and defense. Uh, between 70, 85, 140 versus Terminator 60, uh, 78, 135. It isn't by a whole lot and it really doesn't saturate them enough to make them courses different. And of course, with special attacks, special defense, and speed, it would certainly to showcase its more peaking capabilities, would of course be 91 in special attack, 85 in special defense, and 70. I was going to say with 36, 70 would be nice, 36 in its speed. Uh, while of course Torkoal being a lot slower with just 20 in speed, 17 in special defense and of course 85 in special attack. Now the offensive stats alone definitely just showcase that they are but a run of the mill basically that are, aren't peaking enough to differentiate all that much as said. And of course when it comes to their defensive capabilities one could say that Torkoal does stand out a little bit more because it has more HP. But that's really about it, because Terminator does have actually a more viable special defense, and consider, of course, what it is resisting, it definitely does work in its favor. Now, of course, when it comes to speed, it's very, very clear that Terminator is NASCAR between these two, but as stated, 36 isn't necessarily a whole lot, but 20 between 36, yeah, that's a big difference, but not in the grand scheme of things between them two, yeah, Terminator is clearly the faster one here. But we are, of course, going to go over their abilities too and try to differentiate what could change them apart there. And the abilities themselves doesn't necessarily say too much about them. Uh, with that, of course, certainly they all have one, you know, of course, shell armor, which means you can't get critted, which is at best a decent ability and it was kind of useless. And this is how the Torkoal does have too. Shell armor is one of the stature, of course, together with, of course, a white smog. White smoke, of course, makes sure that you don't get any status reduction to yourself, even by abilities or attacks, which is, you know, at best also decent. It doesn't have necessarily anything to peak till actually this generation, being, of course, with Drought introduced this generation. And Drought, of course, makes sure that you have get Sun 
for 5 turns, which is one of the best abilities in the game. You definitely want to standardize yourself with the likes of uh, any type of um, Pokemon that does actually have the likes of Solar Fill or Solar Power. So this is something that makes Torkoal a bit more desirable when it comes to Wi-Fi battles in general. Uh, it doesn't get Morning Shun, which is, of course is very, very unfortunate, but it does get Solar Beam and of course any type of Fire Stab, which of course will be boosted when the Sun is active. So between the abilities, it's very clear that Torkoal has a slight edge because at the moment, Tertorate Major has really nothing that does make it more interesting compared to the two. But at that set, of course, uh, we have one big, very, very big thing going over, and that, of course, is their move pool because while they are quite similar, there are still things here that does set them apart. And at the end of the day, this is what's going to be the deciding factor between these two. So before even going into more individual move pools that I do get, one really has to mention, of course, what they do share. And offensively, we have, of course, like a flamethrower, fire blast. Uh, we have earthquake, solar beam, and um, also, of course, on the setup side, we have shell smash, which is one of the best, of course, moves in the game, and also of course, stone edge, will o wisp. But that's really about it. The boat, of course, known for its shell smashing capabilities, and are pretty darn decent at it. Comes to, of course, the move pool in general. But with that said, we have, of course, the things that matters more, which, of course, what does make them more unique. And we're gonna first actually talk about the new kid in town, which of course is Turtonator. Now, Turtonator is actually a Pokémon that does get a pretty interesting move pool uh, because it does get a few actually unique moves, such as of course Shell Trap, which is a move that, if it hits, of course, with a contact move, it can retaliate upon it with the base power uh, fire stab onto it, which is one of the more unique aspects onto it. It also gets the likes of On Jaw, and we have Explosion Bulk Up. Uh, if you want to capitalize on that instead, you also get Smackdown, which is one of the more interesting moves in general, and Focus Blast. And uh, we have Charge Beam, and also when it comes to uh, its um, uh, aid move, it does also get Head Smash and, of course, Revenge. Head Smash, one of those that are more interesting to it, mainly because, uh, as of course, a Rock MC move, it actually does pack a punch behind it. And 200 base attack, yeah, that's scary for a lot of Pokemon. It also gets Drake Meteor, which is one of our strongest Draco moves in the game. So it does doesn't have the most broad move, probably it's very, very unique and it's very, very massive and heavy hitting. So it does definitely have a very good viability onto it, which is one of the more greater aspects of Turtonator is that due to its dual stab, it's able to hit a lot of things a lot harder than Torkoal is able to, even though its move pool is less than Torkoal's. Because Torkoal really, really are due to, of course, it being raised to Generation 3 has a lot of other moves introduced to it that makes it a bit more interesting than Turtonator's regular move pool. Because till Generation 6, Torkoal was more famous for its rapid spinning capabilities, which as a fire type doesn't mean that it's a good spinner, but it's able to at least spin. It also gets, of course, Stealth Rock, which means it can set up rocks, be a more defensive, capable Pokemon. It also gets the likes of Jorn, which only kind of enjoys even more of that aspect onto it that it can be a Pokemon that can force switches instead of being offensively capable. Now, talking about, of course, being offensively capable, Torkoal does get Eruption, it does get Earth Power, which makes it more of a Pokemon that could capitalize on its special attack, while lesser than Turtonators. It is still, of course, a move pool that is more broad and to, of course, thrive in, and definitely now, of course, draw it in mind because it just are able to, of course, spend the likes of Solar Beam. Now, if you want to use your physical move pool, you do get, of course, Iron Tail. We also get moves such as self-destruct instead of explosion while not as impressive still is of course an option uh, you also have of course clear smog which basically works as a possible haste which for this type of pokemon might not be such a bad thing it just means that it can't be set up against unless you're a steel type so yeah that's pretty much it one should definitely of course mention i guess to some extent at least both lava flume can burn you with of course a 30 percent chance and of course art of amnesia to very, very, very interesting, of course, setup move. We can definitely capitalize on that. But as stated, they both lack recovery, which kind of makes their setup less viable. Of course, the defensive statue are definitely better, of course, as smell shell smashing. It's just smell smashing. I'm gonna keep that in. So, by the end of the day, to my conclusion here, it really are depending on whether or not you're going to be more offensively capable, as Turtonators are able to do. As stated, it doesn't need a whole lot of things to be able to possible sweep. It is definitely, of course, speed enough to shell smash and be able to, of course, massively hit a team health. You can even run a soul space with charge beam 
and you can do fairly well with that. Or if you want to capitalize on Torkoal, Torkoal, of course, with Draught and, of course, both Stealth Rock and Spinning are able to, with its team synergy, to be a much, much more successful. And due to course, Draught means that while it does is way to water, it doesn't necessarily fall that easy during sun in water, and that is basically what it all gonna boils down to. I do believe the Turtonator overall is the better Shell Smasher, without a doubt in my mind, but it comes down to that Tor Torkoal isn't necessarily that bad of a Shell Smasher, you want to capitalize on that, and in the end of the day, Turtonator is only better at, of course, Shell Smashing, and Torkoal can spin, it can set up rocks, it can support a team with Draught, and it just comes down to one of those things where Torkoal is better due to its already broad and move pool. I don't believe Turtonator is that much worse than Torkoal. It just comes down to that Torkoal is better at anything else besides the Shell Smashing. And if Shell Smashing isn't necessarily the best option of this Pokemon due to their lack of Lustring Speed in the first place, one really has to consider that Torkoal due to a standalone Pokemon are just by default better than Turtonator. So, yeah, Torkoal is the winner of this matchup, but as stated, it is not by a lot. But yeah, if I really have to say something about it, I really want to say that I think Turtonator really needs to get to draw two, or at least something to match up with Torkoal. In my honest opinion, I think they're so much alike that it's kind of surprising that they decided not to run with, of course, Turtonator as a drawster. I definitely would believe that that would have been a much, much more successful option and also of course certainly does not have access to the like of course of the move generator room pools from of course previous generation i do believe we get something like that and we're going to be able to see like of course stealth routes and even nerve power and that will definitely push turtonator's viability through the roof i'm sure but at the moment torkoal is better and draw is a major factor of that rapid spin sure it's an option but you don't use it that, you use it for team support, and therefore Torkoal really shines. So that's it, guys. Thank you, of course, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And with that said, let's look at the next week's matchup. Take care.